Hey guys, welcome to today's episode. Today I wanna talk to you about something that I'm personally doing differently in 2021, but I think this is gonna help you a lot because I know a lot of people struggle with this and a lot of people could use this advice. So in 2020, when I'm reflecting on my own year and, and how everything went, one of my biggest problems that I personally had was just, I was spread so thin. I was trying to do so many different things at once and my attention, my focus really suffered this year. So for example, I would sit down to work on Strive and I was trying to do something really important like put in place, say, a new process to bring in uh, customers or to systematize how we create products and how we get them edited. But every time that I would sit down to do that kind of work, I was very often getting interrupted and I was just getting pulled in a hundred different directions. And so I know a lot of people can relate to that and this is something that I'm personally working on. But in 2021, my big goal is to return back to where I was about 10 years ago in terms of my focus. And I wanna explain what I used to do differently there. And again, I think this can help you. So in my young 20s, I was all about building. And I remember when I got my first office, and I've told you this before, but it's worth repeating. I got my first office, I signed the lease because I wanted a place that I could go to every day free of interruption. And so each morning I would usually get into my office around 10, 11 a.m. in the morning. I was a bit of a late riser and I slept very late at night. I would lock the door and all day long, all day long, I would focus on my work. That's all I did. Lunch was usually quick. I would go and get Subway, bring it back, eat at my desk, and I would get back into my work. But I was able to work for long periods of time, uninterrupted. I didn't have people coming by. I didn't have to, uh, you know, go out and, and run ran so much as I do these days. And I was able to get a lot done. And usually I was working six, seven days a week and I loved what I did, but I did that for years and years. And that allowed me to put in place the foundations for something that would later grow and become very successful. But I often think back to that and I think back to what did I used to do in my young 20s as opposed to today. Today, I am spread a lot more thinly. I've got a lot more things going on and life has become more complicated. And so I'm always thinking in the back of my mind, I need to simplify my life. I need to cut away things. I've got too many competing things for my time and attention. And a lot of people have this, and this all relates back to 80-20. So for example, if you think of the 10 people that you spend the most time with, so it might be your partner, might be your kids, it might be people at work, but you think of those those 10 people that you spend the most time and energy on. So you're gonna find that two out of those 10 people account for over 80% of your joy, your happiness, your fulfillment. So we have this in our relationships. We have this in how we spend our time in general, what different activities we spend time on. So if you look at, besides work, where do you spend most of your time? What different things are you doing? Two out of 10 of them will account for over 80% of your enjoyment, your return, your happiness. It's all about selecting and focusing on that minority, those vital few things in your life which account for the vast majority of all results. So if you look at someone like Warren Buffett, the famous billionaire investor, one of the hallmarks of his career and all of his success is that he was able to focus on what was truly important and block out all the noise. So for example, if you went into his office, even to this very day, you're not gonna hear phones ringing. You're not gonna see multiple screens flashing. You're gonna hear peace and quiet. You're gonna walk into his office and he's gonna be reading reports. He spends most of his time reading. And in his career, he's focused on making a few key decisions which have accounted for the vast majority of all of these results. So someone like that operating at that level, and there's, there's many other examples I can give you. These are people who understand that less is more. It's about simplifying all of the inputs that you have coming into your life, because we only have so many hours in a day, and focusing on just a few vital things which are really going to move the needle. So in 2021, that's my big focus. Now, I would love to hear what your big focus is gonna be in the comments. Let me know. What do you intend to do differently in 2021 compared to 2020? What do you need to improve upon? Now, regardless of what your goals are, if you need a little bit of extra help, a little bit of extra accountability, my 10 day challenge is a system that you go through where each day you're gonna be talking to someone on the phone. It's gonna be a very short call, five minutes, 10 minutes, but they're gonna keep you accountable. And the way it works is you share with them what your goals are in three different areas of your life, your career, 
health and fitness, and your life in general. So you have three main goals, and then you work out what are the daily action steps for those goals. You share them with your breakthrough mentor. This is the person who's keeping you accountable. And you share them with the Strive community, okay? This is an accountability group on Facebook. But you tell everyone what your goals are, you announce it publicly, and then each day, you post proof that you did it. And you do this for 10 days. And the benefit of doing this is it's gonna keep you on track. It's gonna allow you to create rapid progress in a very short amount of time. So I do a lot of these 10 day challenges in my life. Uh, I do them to wake up early. I do them to work out more consistently. I do them to create more content and be more consistent with it. But whatever you need help with getting on track for 2021, check out the 10 day challenge. It's completely free. There'll be a link below. Let me know in the comments what's going to be different in 2021 for you. That's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow.